A fountain during flames, flowing and freezing. We begin with a story of ice and fire lasting all day and night. And on what may be the coldest night of the season so far, firefighters are still on the job in Midtown. Good evening, I'm Rob McCartney. I'm Brandi Peterson. The two alarm fire started this morning near 37th and Dewey, destroying apartments in a historic building. KETV News Watch 7's Adrian Whitsett is there, live with the big story. Yeah, Brandy, at this, uh, the owner of this mansion now, this destroyed mansion, told us that there were working fireplaces inside eight apartments inside this renovated building. I want to step out here. This same section where you see firefighters pouring water into, this is where they've been at it since about noon today. That's 10 hours ago. We also saw flames here near that chimney for some time throughout today. Fire officials have not determined what the cause is yet. They're still trying to put out the flames that started so long ago. In the cold light of day, it's hard to watch a building you've owned for 25 years lose the battle against the flames. But this is the only one I've really held on to just for the historic and I just love the building. The renovated Mets mansion caught fire around 11:45 Monday morning. Looked out in the uh, hallway and there's uh, some smoke coming, starting to come down the stairwell. Uh, that's when I called 911. No one could have imagined how long all this would last. So they withdrew all crews at 12:16 uh, due to the heavy fire conditions. We fought it outside uh, using hand lines and the elevated master stream. Every piece of equipment iced over, and it would remain that way through the afternoon, then the evening, and into the night where the lit-up former mansion looks more like an ice palace. Some lose a lot. I have two cats that I'm afraid they're, they're probably dead uh, by now that I've had for a decade. Others would find happier circumstances. We had to rush home because he was still inside. And uh, thank God he uh, started barking. He and, let people uh, know yeah, that, so that it was... Yeah, that there was a fire. 8 o'clock Monday night, the water running from the top of the mansion through the front door and all the way down 36th Street and Harney, creating a slushy, icy mess on one of the coldest nights of the year so far. And about an hour before that, we did see one city plow come through the intersection of 36th and Harney and try and push some of that slush and water away. But then we were here for about an hour and 15 minutes and never saw it again. We did see, however, several near miss accidents at that intersection where people were driving too fast for the conditions because it's not blocked off and they didn't know that the ice and slush was there. Now, as for this fire that's still happening, we don't know if there's still flames inside, but they're surely pouring a lot of water inside the former Mets mansion. It could still be several days before we know what caused. It. Reporting live at 37th and Dewey Avenue, Adrian Whitsett, KETV News Watch 7. Thanks, Adrian.